quick question. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I am so sick and tired of just everything right now. I, everyone is so quick to say, stop doing this. Stop thinking like this. Stop doing, like, stop telling me I'm wrong. I have literally convinced myself at this point based on everything that everyone's telling me, my therapist, my family, my friends, that I'm just doing everything wrong. I'm healing wrong. I'm thinking wrong. I'm training wrong. I'm, I'm doing relationships wrong. Everything I do is fucking wrong. And I'm so sick of it. Stop comparing. It's not even about comparison. Like I genuinely just want love in my life so badly. It's literally not about anyone else. It's just about me and what I want and, and being fucking over the fact that I don't have it. I feel like I have done so much work on myself. I have built a beautiful life for myself. I'm happy with my life where I'm at my job. I'm successful. I'm independent. I'm healthier than I've ever been. I take such good care of myself. Truly the only thing I'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with. And I'm so sick of waiting. Like when is it going to be my turn? What more do I have to do to fix myself before I'm just allowed to be happy, before I'm allowed to meet this universe soulmate person that God supposedly has for me? How much harder do I have to pray and manifest and wait? I feel like I'm being punished for something I didn't do. And I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. I don't want, I don't expect a lot. I just want love in my life so bad. I want my life partner. I just, am I just supposed to be alone? Like, is that the message that this beautiful life I've built for myself? Like, it's just supposed to be me in it alone. Like, I know I have my dog and I love him so much, but like, I need love. All of my friends have their fiancés and their boyfriends and their husbands that they prioritize. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I've been left behind. And I really just want to find that person that matches my energy and wants to build a life with me. Is that so hard? I worked at Spotify in 2019. It was my first job out of college. I was so, so, so excited. Like it was my dream to move to New York City and just like live that like Carrie Bradshaw lifestyle. And we got so many amazing perks when I worked at Spotify. We got free food, um, free breakfast, lunch, and sometimes we would get dinner too. We would get free concerts. We would get free international trips to Sweden. There were just so many perks and now all those perks have completely disappeared. Not to mention, I also got laid off from my job, but that's a story for another day. And that wasn't the only layoff I had. I also worked at Uber right after Spotify as a marketing manager, and I got laid off from that job too. As someone who studied engineering in college, like I went to like one of the best schools for engineering. Like I was the only woman who graduated in my class. Like I expected more out of my life. Like I thought I would be like, you know, making 300K at this point in a full-time job with like a lot of benefits. But for a lot of my friends, this is not the case anymore. You do not want to work in tech actually, because you are probably going to have your job replaced by AI or replaced by something down the line, because now all they want to do is just cut on costs. But yeah, the tech industry is so fucked, so, so fucked. And I just don't think anyone should join tech right now. If I could have gone back in time and told myself to pursue something different, this is what I would have done. I would have started a YouTube channel like in 2016 instead of fretting over my exams, you know, caring so much about what my classmates thought of me because I feel like the real money right now is really people who leverage their social media to make income. For example, 
I am honestly not a big influencer on TikTok, but I make about $200 a day just through my long form content. And just imagine if I put that long form content on YouTube. I could have made so, so much more money. But the thing is, like, when I graduated college in 2018, social media was not a big thing. Like, people would make fun of you if you were, like, taking a career out of social media. But now those same influencers have now created, like, cult-like communities. And these communities are, like, basically funding.